It is a moment seven decades in the making. President Barack Obama later this month will become the first sitting American president to set foot in Hiroshima. The Japanese site where the US dropped an atomic bomb, decimated a city and shot the world into the atomic age. The president certainly does understand that uh, the United States uh, bears a special responsibility. Uh, the United States continues to be the only uh, country to have used nuclear weapons uh, and it means that uh, our country bears a special responsibility to um, uh, to lead the world uh, in an effort to uh, eliminate them. The White House announcing Tuesday that Obama will make the visit along with Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe during a previously scheduled trip to Japan. We offer our heartfelt welcome to President Obama's decision to visit Hiroshima. Many people of the city regretfully fell victim to the atomic bomb that was dropped 70 years ago. I wish for this visit to be an opportunity for Japan and the U.S. to remember all the victims together. The president's visit has been widely anticipated since Secretary of State John Kerry's trip to the bombing memorial last month. Going through this museum was a reminder of the indisputable truth that war must never be the first resort. If, if it must be, it must be the last resort because of the utter failure of all diplomacy and of all other choices. Kerry toured the Peace Museum with other G7 foreign ministers, taking part in an annual memorial service just steps away from the site's ground zero. The U.S. attack on Hiroshima, August 6, 1945, in the final days of World War II, killed 140,000 people. While it scarred a generation of Japanese, many Americans believe the bombing, along with another on the city of Nagasaki, hastened the end of the war. Those diverging views made a visit from a sitting U.S. president a delicate and arguably political risky move. No sitting U.S. president has ever visited, but after he left office, Jimmy Carter laid a wreath at Hiroshima in 1984. The White House has already ruled out the possibility that Obama will apologize for the bombing. Tracy Brown, Associated Press.